Hey guys, it's Clickbricks here. Back finally with instructions for my Lego Volkswagen Bumblebee. So, sorry this video took so long to get out. Um, it's long due. Um, but I've just been really busy with, you know, school and everything. But sure enough, here I am. Finally. And I'll show you guys how to make this this dude. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do it in sections like I always do. Um, I'll probably do it the arms, the legs, uh, the torso, and the, um, the backpack pieces. And then at the end, I will uh, show how to build the weapons and then transform him into his vehicle mode. So, without further ado, let's just get started. So, now we're gonna start building with the legs. Um, so, these are pretty complicated, but I'll just show you some chunks of this. And for the, the wheels, what I did is I have a, um, a round 2x2 two two and then the, um, uh, the smooth inverted 2x2. Two two. And then I kind of cheated by stretching this uh, tire around it. So, I mean, if you don't want to stretch your tires out a little bit, then you can, you can just use the, the inside part of it and it would work fine. Um, but I, think, I just think it looks better this way. Make sure it's not, sorry, that was out of focus. Make sure the studs are completely, um, like, above the tire. Um, so then you can attach this. that up, fold that in, and there you have the legs, and now for the hips, um, you just have these two ball joints, and then, this doesn't have to be the round one, it's just what I had, so I just used it, and then you'll have this, so this will be what connects to the torso. Just like that. And then you can simply put the legs into the hips. And there you have the legs. So now we'll get onto the arms. So this is the same type of wheel that we have for the legs, by the way.
and this is just that like, robot hand on a clip. This is what's going to attach it to the torso. Make sure this one is on the second stud down, not the top one by the shoulder. And here you have the arms. Just mirror it, um, just like the legs. And there you go. And now we'll move on to the uh, main body of Bumblebee. And this is two one by two stuck on top of each other. Each other. Now we'll do the chest pieces. So it's just a clip on there, and then this is the one where the the stud is kind of recessed in to the, the brick. Stick that on like that, like that, and it's pretty easy to see, hopefully. It's just one of those kind of um, triangular pieces. Same thing on the side. And then this piece, just that, those three pieces on a 2x4 plate, and this kind of thing. And that goes on like that, and then simply attach it on there. And that's a jumper. which is um, just a Travis brick with these two clips on and then the round uh, tile. There you have that. Attach that to the jumper and put it on there. And then you can attach these not all the way to the end here, but kind of in the middle-ish, right around there. And then I like to angle these that way and then to rotate it on that stud right there. Kind of gives it a good look. Same thing on this side. And there you have the body. And now we'll get on to the biggest part of him, uh, the backpack. So, um, I broke it into a couple sections, so hopefully it'll be somewhat easy to follow. So we will start with the front of the car. So, there are uh, one by one plates on here, by the way. the front of the car. Now we'll move on to the wings. You're gonna mirror these, by the way. And 
のセッティングに、あの、はい。Make sure the hinge part is on the inside of the door. And the last part. Back of the car. And that is the four stud long bar. Jumper will go straight into that middle hole. This, so、um, the studs on this、um, this hinge is facing. So the studs are facing downwards,、um, and then you're going to attach the first clip, the very front clip, and same on this side. And, then hinge them up. and there you have basically the the whole. Shell of a car, pretty much.、Um, so, yeah. There we go. We're done with the backpack. And now for the accessories and weapons. So, for the mask,、uh, it's basically a whole different head. So,、um, you're going to take a Travis brick, put three of these cheese slopes on three of the sides, and then you're going to make the face plate. So, Put these on、uh, two 
two sides kind of like the eyes and then these pieces will go on right there and then you can attach this the very corner stud to or the very corner anti stud to the stud and then that will go on to there and this piece just has two minifigure hands um, attached there at the ends and you put the jumper plate with a one by one tile on top of that and the tube will go into that hole and there you have the battle mask and for the cannon very simple just this yellow tube with two studs on the front and the blade again very simple attach this tooth piece and then this will go into there and there you have the blade and now for the fun part putting them all together so we're going to start with this piece right here we're going to take the arms and that robot hand will go into these black clips here just like that and do the same on the side and there you have the arms and now we will do do the backpack. So these actually attach um, the hips and attach to the um, this bar right there. So take this arm here and this will go straight in between those droid arms there. And there you have the legs attached. Let me raise up the camera. And We'll get to folding this up later. After we put the the whole upper body onto here. So this these two studs here will go onto these two um, anti studs there, and then this stud will go onto the um, center tube there. So let's see if so focus. Kind of see what I'm doing. Hopefully, so you see that's attached there and then you can attach that and there he is kind of assembled so <laughs> we'll fix him up here um going to angle this down a little bit and this will kind of rest on that plate there and now we're going to fold this oh, this came off um, this part up roof so that it's kind of sitting flat you can then angle the wings however you want I just like to do that um, and then this will come up and you're actually gonna rotate this around on the jumper sometimes it likes to come off and we will put this up here angle that back and there are a couple better ways to do it you can fiddle around with it if you want but it's kind of annoying. Um, and there you have Bumblebee. Oh, I forgot. So the wheels, you can kind of rotate on that clip and then um, kind of fold them along the back as best as possible. And there he is, now fully assembled. Um, so I did make a few changes to him. Um, before, um, or since the last video showing him, um, so, we will transform him from his robot mode to vehicle mode. Also, um, one quick thing, if you don't really care if your transformers actually transform, then, um, I was, uh, I figured out, uh, that you can pretty easily make him into basically a better looking figure. So, um, again, it won't transform because this whole thing basically comes off, but if you like the look of this better, then I'll just quickly show you how to do this. So, you can, well, you can actually just take off the whole backpack by removing, well, not his legs though, but 
um, all the metal spikes. There we go. Um, so basically what you did was remove the entire backpack. Um, and you can actually take the uh, windows here. Remove these. And these can actually attach to the back here. Um, this stud will go into there. Just like that. And I like to angle them a little bit. Do the same on this side. And there you have Bumblebee. And you can actually um, uh, lay the wheels more flat against this back since there's not a huge backpack there. Um, and now you have a much better looking bumblebee. Uh, of course it doesn't transform because basically the whole car is here. But, I mean, if you don't really care about that then I'd say go for this because this looks a lot better. It's more poseable since he doesn't have the, the huge backpack. Um, you can also put a regular... Um, two by two tile there so it's more sturdy onto his body but um i think this looks much better um i'm personally gonna keep him with his backpack just so he can transform but yeah i mean it looks pretty good if you want it so just thought i'd throw that out there i was just messing him with messing with him one day and i found out you could do this so there you go and now we will transform him from his robot mode into his yoga mode. Um, also, I actually want to point out, I did improve his posability, because now he can actually move his arms forward and backwards, as well as out and in. Um, so, there's that. But, moving on. So, first you're going to kind of get the wheels out of the way, and up. And... Move the arms out for now. And next, we are just going to unfold the wings. And basically, well, not break anything. I said not break anything. Okay. And basically, unfold everything from the back. And we will get to that in a little bit. So, we're going to fold these pieces up. The camera up a bit. There we go. Um, so we're going to straighten out this brick here, straighten out that tile, and then we will slide this all the way to the outside of the bar. Same on this side. Of course, when the camera's running, things break. That's how it goes. You know what, I'm just gonna slide this over. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Moving on. So, we're going to rotate the head around. And then we will, uh, we're going to disconnect the legs now. So this can be kind of tricky sometimes. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to, well first you're going to kind of move the legs up. It'll just make it easier to um, get out of the way. And then you can push the hips that way just to kind of disconnect them from the, the front of the hips. Or the, the front of the torso I guess. And then you're going to kind of slide them out of this cavity here. And yeah, sometimes it disconnects. Um, and it helps to move the backpack or the wings out of the way. And of course, everything is falling apart. That is annoying. So yeah, you're going to kind of hinge them out. And then they will fold out. Way, so that we can mess up the legs. 
and you can fold the doors up now. And we will release. So we'll open the calves, uh, rotate this piece down, and now you can rotate the wheel out and rotate this just this way, just like that. Then you can take the door well, first, take the hips, make sure they're up as much as they can go, kind of like that, and going to fold the knees so that this will connect into that jumper, and there you go, and that will kind of lock the legs into place in a way, and fold the wheel part down, you can then rotate this 180 degrees to cover up that gray a little bit. this in for now, and rotate this all the way around, and there you pretty much have that done. We'll mess with that once we get the arms in place. Um, so, gonna basically do the same thing with the other leg. Again, fold this out, rotate this down. Actually, you can just fold the whole toe piece out. Um, and then you can, again, rotate this around, fold this up, and connect the foot into the jumper. And actually, try to do this, you're gonna wanna rotate this one by three around. And then, okay, we'll mess with that later. And now we can finish attaching this. There we go. And these tiles, these tiles here, kind of slide forward. I forgot to do it on the side. Straighten the wheel out. Sorry if this transformation is pretty messy, but um, I did my best. So, rotate this around. And slide that over there. And rotate this to about there. At least I, that's what I found looks the best, at least to me. Um, and now, we can do the arms. Uh -oh, so, these, this clip is gonna rotate, um, and then you're also gonna rotate this black piece. So, sometimes I find it helps to rotate this first and then rotate the black hinge. And kind of slide it into this gap here. And then, you're gonna wanna rotate the wheel You'll feel it kind of stops because of that stud will stop it. And I like angling that. Kind of gives it like the look of the, f the, the rear fender. And um, these pieces. That was out of focus, I'm sorry. So you're going to rotate the. Or no, you're going to kind of overlap the front. Uh, the front lights over top of these two slope pieces. They're, they'll kind of rest there. Um, man, I'm not talking right today. So, again, rotate this. And so, it fills in this gap here. And straighten out the arms. Angle that. Spin the wheel. And rest it on top of the fender. Lowering the camera, you can kind of see it's starting to come together. And we're almost done, so you're going to kind of rotate the, this clip a little bit, not completely straight, 
and then you're going to kind of make sure that this covers up the gap. Um, it's kind of tricky, but we'll do the same on this side. And there you go. Straighten it out as much as possible. Um, So, we will finish up with this back part. So, we're gonna rotate this all the way around, and then make sure that the windshield, or not the windshield, the, the back window will rest there. And we will rotate this around on that jumper. And then you're gonna actually rotate on another jumper, that piece, and the bumpers will kind of angle up, and rest that there. So, there is pretty much all of Bumblebee in his Volkswagen Beetle mode. So, there he is. Um, let me know if you guys build him, because I'm kind of interested to see if anybody actually does build these. Um, there we have these weapons. Um, but, again, I'm so sorry that this was delayed so long. Um, just been really busy. Um, but I finally found the time to make the video, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe, and that's about it for this video, so... I'll see you guys in the next one.